it's Lisa. If you like 4x6 photos, I have a great sketch for you today. I have two portrait 4x6 and one landscape. And we're going to be doing a pretty traditional surprise birthday party page. I am using some papers from my mind's eye. This is an older um, 6x6 pattern. You can see it's very, very <laughs> well used. I don't have much of it left, but the colors are perfect. I've got the blues and yellows uh, that go with my photos or my dad's favorite colors, and there's some orange in here to add a little more cheer to the page. Um, so I definitely want to use uh, those papers. I don't need a ton of paper, just some behind the photos and maybe matting my embellishments. We're going to do our embellishments with a stamp set, keeping with a pretty traditional page. This is a birthday stamp set from Stamping Up. I received this. It was given to me. I don't know exactly how old this one is, but it's called Birthday Whimsy, so I think it's probably been around a few years. Anyway, um, we're going to do the birthday cake and probably some balloons uh, for sure on the page as uh, elements to go with the birthday theme. My background paper is one that I think this is We Are Memory Keepers. I bought this on clearance at uh, Hobby Lobby and the colors, they were sort of random in the pack and I liked the chevron, I liked the energy uh, of that print with this and I liked that light blue gray color. I thought it went well with the papers. If it gets to be too much though we can always switch this back to cardstock or something uh, simpler. So I think right now what I'm going to do is um, go ahead and pick out some papers to use and then we'll start uh, stamping some of these in inks that will match our papers. I want to do definitely blues and yellows and probably some of the orange. I like that um, bubble paper with the orange and yellow and the teal color in it. Blues and yellows are my dad's favorite colors and it was his birthday party. So using the little dot paper I've picked out some colors of markers. My blue is going to be pretty dark because I don't have I have a blue ink pad there but I don't have a marker that matches that ink pad. That's a discontinued color and I never had the marker that went with it. So this is the old brilliant blue color if I'm stamping up in it. It's going to be dark, but that's okay. If it's too matchy-matchy, maybe that wouldn't be the best thing either. And I forgot when I stamped this that I want to cut it out in an oval, so I'm going to have to redo it. Uh, for, for the time being, let's go ahead and stamp some um, balloons. And I did that one. I think it's um, the Tangerine Tango color. I'm just going to see how it looks cut out, and I'll do two or three balloons. So I re-stamped the cake, and I'm cutting it with uh, the Creative Memory Circle or Oval Cutter, and I'm using uh, that to also cut out a mat with this dot paper for that to rest on. And I'm trimming down my six um, inch papers. They're going to be pieced behind the photos, so they'll look like they've sort of been stretched across the page. We talk about more techniques for stretching your six by six papers in the sensational six by six paper class that is available, and you'll find a link to my site um, in the description for this video adding a little bit more marker to them and I used some glossy accents to put on the top of the um, candles like they're so they've got a little gloss to them like they're lit up and I'm going to put my photos down I just put a little glue on the inside edges of them and then I'm going to slip the papers into the outside edges and I go back and, and glue the outer edges of the, pa the photos uh, later on, but this way I can sort of sneak the papers in and you never know that you didn't have more paper. I just have to be careful in lining them up and I'm using my grid mat there to help me uh, do that. I did end up with sort of a balanced amount of yellow and blue and I'm going to work on that later because I had intended to do one color more than the other. 
So I'm going to add a little stripe of some orange in there to sort of break it up a bit. And I'm just cutting that off camera on the photo or on the uh, paper trimmer to half inch. And we'll just glue that in place and then we'll have an, another little colorful strip going across. And these blue letters, I surprise, that's the word I wanted to make, and surprise, I'm out of S's. Um, so I couldn't use those. So I had to go and find some orange letters and put those on. I printed my journaling. And I want to put happy birthday at the bottom. The way the journaling is worded, it leads into happy birthday. So, and the stamp also had a and many more. So we're going to put the and many more at the bottom of the birthday cake. And I was using that stamp, that paper to stamp there to test and make sure that they were straight on the blocks. Because they're not, oh, I don't always get mine mounted straight on the blocks. And um, so sometimes I have to sort of crook the stamp a little bit when I actually stamp it down or use a stamp -a jig I'm putting just some white twine on the back of each of my balloons that I stamped and hand cut. And then I can go ahead and glue those to the page of two of them with tape runner and then the third one in the middle I'll put on with some dimensional adhesive. And they, the little string can then just come down behind my journaling. And I, on my sketch, I showed tying this in a bow, but I'm just going to tie it in a knot. I don't want it too feminine, frilly. And I'll put the cake on also with dimensional adhesive. And I've got a date sticker to put the date on, and that's pretty much all that goes onto this page. So, we followed our sketch pretty closely. I just, I didn't tie a bow. I just went ahead and let those balloons hang down there. And I've got a little bit wider strip of paper down here at the bottom. I'll show you some close-ups of the page. A very traditional page using, uh, what did we use, four of the stamps from the birthday stamp set and you know got three four by six photos on our page and it's a fun page to celebrate a birthday so thank you so much for joining me today and if you like the video I'd love to get a thumbs up you can uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber there's a weekly process video usually at least once a week and I do a sketchbook at the end of the year with all these sketches plus sketches for layouts that I didn't already have a predefined sketch for. Um, so be sure and look for that. The past three year sketchbooks are available. You can find a link over on my blog to get more information on this. Thanks again.